Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video I'm hopefully going to finally solder the uh, USB 3.0 front panel PCB. I already tried it a couple of times, to be honest, but I didn't really succeed. On to the rest, because USB Type-C is not working anymore. Let's solder the speaker connector. I think I need to do a little bit of cleaning. I don't recommend soldering Type-C yourself since as you are able to see the chances are rather high that you won't get it right. And if you do get it right and you're going to use this board please make sure to send me one but I don't have any USB type C devices anyway so I don't think it should should be a problem on my phone but that's not USB Type-C uh, Gen uh, what is it 3.2 Gen 2 or something that's USB 2.0 and we've got one USB 2.0 port that should be working so Okay, now those are soldered. Now I suppose it's time for the next thing. And that is going to be the USB 3.0 internal header. So. You need to have good reflow on this. Also to the bottom. So those are in place, now there are only two things remaining and those are the USB-A connectors, so let's install those and solder those in place. Now I am going to bump up the temperature a little because we will be soldering the ground planes first and then the rest. So let's install it. We're gonna remove the side cover first, like so. And now we can lift up these nasty cliffs at the sides. And It should just pop off. All right. Oh yeah. Well, okay. 
it's already gone now we should be able to just insert this into the front panel if all my measurements are correct this should work I think I saw that one of the audio plugs a little bit to the side and now it's blocking the thing from going in I suppose look not sure if you're able to see that but everything fits except for the microphone the USB connectors are a little bit too long but it's in so let's screw it in before it pops back out and let's hope that the screws aren't in the way of the wires so everything is working while well, everything is fitting which is really good now it's up to all the cables to be fitted so let's actually grab some headphones and check if they work Yes! Which device have you connected? Headphone. Now I'm going to do a left test and a right test. This is the right channel. And this is the left channel. That's that one. We can conclude that this little thing is working. For the final test, let's insert, okay, look you can see what I mean, it, they're a little bit too long, but for the final test, there you go, it successfully recognized my USB drive. Now let's copy some footage from it. And it's working. So guys, we're at the desk. I've got a USB 3.1 Gen 1 card reader in my hand. And we're going to transfer the video footage that I just recorded with my camera. Now, as I said, it's the Kingston USB 3.1 Gen 1 USB card reader. The moment of truth. Will it work? We should be able to see USB version 3.2. Let's copy some files to check out the speed. Now this is copying onto an HDD. So it's rather slow. It's I think it's capable of getting 80 megabytes per second. So let's check it out. That's not really that impressive yet. Maybe it's still to come. Plus, I haven't got any, maybe. Yeah, I've got a video file over here that I can use. Oh, hey, hey, look at this. Wow, that's 90 megabytes per second. That's my hard drive's uh, speed limit capped out. So let's try copying it to the SSD and hopefully we shouldn't even see the copying window. Let's try it. <laughs> Guys, we did it. Let's try copying these files to a new folder. Uh, this is still rather slow. I would have expected though It's to go much higher. Thank you for watching this video. I'll put everything in the description down below 
so you can use it if you want and i will catch you guys in the next one bye oh hey hello uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here well if you want you can also view two other videos of me so make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos